a variable by uh, using the pickup so you should be able to uh, do else pickup really easily uh, so here what let me just check uh, yeah so the next uh, lesson uh, here for the extra video I will handle what I just said and next lesson we'll see audio which shouldn't take too long so next lesson which will be the last you'll be able to ask more questions if you if you're a bit shy about questions not wanted to to stop the, the lesson uh, you will be able to ask more questions because it's just about audio and you know almost enough to handle audio yourself but uh, we'll be able to talk about a uh, few things you have to keep in mind uh, we'll handle export what you have to know to export and display your game in your website and we'll handle uh, how to add uh, third-party plugins and uh, what uh, issue you can have with them uh, all uh, I'm not sure all uh, third-party plugins are um, uh, update up to date, so uh, yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think uh, that's all for today. Extra video coming uh, this week. I plan to do yeah this for an extra video, and probably one or two more on specifics of the platform behavior and uh, we'll see I, I started to to play with the persist uh, uh, behavior functionality as well there's still something that aren't quite clear so I'm not sure I uh, not really clear but more that uh, there's some stuff that hinders some workflow so and the uh, challenge oh yeah challenge uh, some of you, did you try your hand of the challenge I've uh, proposed last time? The drag and drop and the, um, and the parallax uh, challenge? I will extend this chat. So more. Less people today. Mm, I'm sad. Um, Uh, okay, not easy. Ah, okay. Well, I maybe I will just release uh, KPX. Maybe I will do something with a description, a written tutorial, and how I did it. And maybe I will make a video depending on the time I have. A dragon, cool, cool. Yeah, I think you showed me. You showed it to me. So yeah, it was uh, really really good uh, then, ah. yeah yeah there's something um, yeah there's something about the you have to do some research to know how to scroll to the mouse uh, or I could explain it but uh, we're running out of time uh, do some research on the documentation and on the forum and you should uh, find uh, what you want. You, the challenge in the challenge, you don't really need to get the smooth scrolling I uh, achieved, but just following the uh, make the scrolling follow the mouse is uh, more than enough for the challenge. But I will show you a bit more how I did it. Um, but for the, I have two neck two, three, even three challenge for you. Uh, I will show them to you. Um, <laughs> where are you, challenge? Uh, public. I will uh, share the the, um, the URL. Don't worry. First, I have a ladder challenge. It was suggested in the by a friend. How to make a ladder? Since we are making some platformer. It's uh, 
interesting to uh, to tackle, and I think it makes a nice challenge. Here, if you press shift, you can climb the ladder. If you don't press shift, you fall. And if you reach the top, you are on top of the platform. Reach the ladder. And you can even climb down the ladder. So yeah, it's, uh, it can be a bit uh, hard. I won't hi hide you, but uh, j just uh, try your, your hand on it. If you can achieve part of it, you, we've seen today a uh, vector x and y that's used. You've seen it's not an easy challenge. I won't uh, lie to you, that's not an easy challenge. That's um, the KPX of the challenge. I will just show you a few things you will probably need for this challenge. I won't show you the... Uh, oh, a crash. Uh, I won't show you the event sheet, because that's the point of it. But I will show you a um, few behavior used. And uh, yeah, a few be behavior used and how uh, things are set up. So here I have my ladder, which is the just a uh, tight background. You can uh, create it yourself, it's not really hard. Here you have a collision for the ladder, which is just a sprite. And here you have a platform, which is a platform here, which has a jump through behavior. That's why you can walk on it and you can go through it. So the jump through is what you need for that. Uh, you should be able to handle um, the climbing. That's the going back from the, the top, which might be a bit difficult. I will just tell you uh, two things. If you want your player to climb properly, you better set the gravity to zero. And because the gravity gives you a kind of constant uh, calculation that might make your player go down even if you are not moving. And the second thing is there's a condition we didn't see yet, which is overlap at offset. That's what you need to use to be able to go back. That the, you don't need necessarily, but that's what I used. There's also a way by using an extra sprite to check collision. But anyway, that's all you need to know. There's a climb speed, yeah, the climb being uh, on my sprite. It's good to know, but I think that's enough. You can choose to not follow my way of uh, for the interaction you can maybe have a better uh, a key um, key setup or a better kind of interaction just you just need to be able to climb a ladder that's the first challenge uh, don't say the second challenge which might be a bit easier uh, no, no, not necessarily a lap. Oh, shit. You've seen the answer. No. So, uh, don't look at the answer. <laughs> if you want to profit from the, the challenge, there's nothing to win from the challenge, so better try your hand on it. So, you have two lifts. You have two boxes. And when you go on the boxes and you press control, the lift will lead you where you need to go. So I will show you how it works. I think I probably I see the URL. It's a, a interactive lift, I think. Actionable lift. Uh, how did I name it? Uh, Activable lift. Activable. Up, 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 up. 
and the URL here. Here you are on top of the control of the lift. You press control, you are moving up. Then on top here you are moving down. And you, are you can go back. You can go back. You can go back. You can reverse as well. And yeah, that's where I used le, le here, le, le R. Uh, but uh, you don't necessar necessarily need to use the le, fun le function. Oh. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the only, uh, there's you will m you will probably notice a little bug where you're going down. You have a gap underneath your player. When you're going up, it tends to go in the the platform uh, there's not much thing I could find to solve this problem so at the moment uh, you'll be you'll be good if you achieve this kind of uh, thing okay so uh, is everyone uh, okay any question you can uh, we had uh, some question here? I'm usually uh, not counting the word to answer the problems, so there's a lot. I've answered uh, Almeida. I've answered uh, uh, Rindan, I think, S and it's uh, probably a good read for you. So uh, don't hesitate to at least come and read what uh, what has been said. And uh, don't hesitate to post any question. I'll, I'm checking it uh, every day. Okay, so we've uh, we have uh, uh, 45 minutes uh, past the time of the recording, so uh, we've bit, uh, crossed the the time. So I hope. Uh, okay with you and uh, I think we are done so I will uh, say goodbye to you good uh, evening good afternoon good morning good night goodbye